Hey guys, it's Jen at The Wheelhouse Project, and this is another video in my self-help, self-care, <laughs> healing series that I'm doing. And I really wanted to talk about journaling, and uh, I know that it's not that complicated. However, there's a lot of cool things about journaling that can really help you in your healing journey. And first of all, I would tell you to pick out a nice journal, pick out a nice pen, feel good about it, feel excited about it, set time aside every day to do your journaling. And, you know, a lot of people like a certain format. I know some people like to have like gratefulness journals or, or things like that that are more specific or, you know, lists that they create about all the things they appreciate in their day or whatever. That's great. Do that if that feels right. But I would tell you to... I found it much more therapeutic to just go with the flow, go with whatever you feel. If you feel like venting about something that happened that day, great, vent about it. If you feel like writing a prayer or a message to God, go for it, do that. If you feel like writing about everything you're grateful for because maybe you had a rough day and you're feeling like you need to bring in some positive, great, do whatever feels right. I just find that journaling is such a free it's really nice when it's sort of a free flow thing and it's amazing sometimes what can come through in a journal for example i know years ago i was showing some of my journal entries to a friend who's an intuitive and she i said you know i didn't i didn't write these i know that's it looks kind of like my handwriting but i didn't write these and i'm really like they were these beautiful messages to me about like about encourage of encouragement and love and and it was written to me not by me so but yet I'd done it so I was like what what is this and she said you were channeling you were channeling without realizing you were channeling you were probably just clear and open to whatever and you just wrote this beautiful message from the divine so it you know journaling can be an amazing way to also channel it's actually a great way to start channeling i know people that are trying you know trying to get in touch with their intuition or trying to to figure out how to get messages from the divine and journaling is a super easy way to do it actually it you know we're all we can all be really clear in journaling as long as you're open to it so what i often do is i'll sit and i'll journal whatever i need to get out whatever i need to say whatever you know, prayers or thoughts or gratefulness or venting, whatever I need to do, I'll do my journaling first. And at the end, again, be in intentional about it. Ask for who you want the message from, if you want it from the divine, if you want it from God, if you want it from your guides, or for that matter, if you're trying to channel a message from someone on the other side, <coughs> you can ask for that to be from them. But I will personally sit down in my journal, when I'm done with my, my regular journaling and ask a question, you know, what would you have me know now, God? Or what, what message do you have for me today, God? And I will tell you, don't think about it. Don't even question it. Just immediately, whatever comes to mind, write as fast as you can, because usually it comes fast. And <clears throat> there's a reason to write it so fast. It's because you don't want to question it. You don't want to second guess it. You don't want to reword it. Just write it as it comes. Even if it's sloppy, even if it's misspelled, even if you miss words, just write as fast as you get it. And I guarantee you that if you're channeling from the divine, it's going to be a really positive, uplifting message. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, rolling their eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, this, we love you, you know, goopy stuff. But, you know, that's what you're getting from the divine. If it's positive and it's loving, you know it's divine. But I find that a lot of times that I get messages that are really profound or really encouraging. Or maybe I, in my journal entry, I've been doubting myself or getting upset about something. And that message from the divine will suddenly be very positive and uplifting and encouraging and no keep going you're what you're doing is right keep you know keep moving forward with that or no you know you are loved don't feel that way but it, it's really a beautiful thing to be able to have that conversation with god or with the divine and do it so simply so and everyone can do that it's really simple to do like i said you just have to ask the question be open and whatever comes into your head immediately write it down and just do it and then and don't stop until it feels like it's done and you can even ask in your mind is that all or ask out loud is that all and see what you get 
and when you're done, you're done. And then you can go back and read it. And But again, don't question it, don't reword it, you know, just leave it. I mean, you can fix it. <laughs> you can fix your errors, of course. But I always find that also sometimes, even in the moment, maybe if I'm kind of feeling in a funk or something and I know there's this gorgeous positive message, I might not even read it then. Like I might go back and read it the next day. There are times that I'm like, you know, I kind of got that, but I'm going to wait. And sometimes I'll go back even and read it the next day. I'm like, wow, that's really beautiful and profound and exactly what I needed. But so don't, you know, don't get upset with it. Like if you're, you know, if you want to stay in your funk and you don't want to read that right now, that's fine. But, but channel that message through. It's there for yourself. And sometimes it's, it might even be weeks or days or years later that you go back and find that message and it's the perfect message for you. So it's it's there for you when you need it. I hope that makes sense. But go find a cool journal. Go find something that resonates with you. Maybe it's something really simple and leather bound. Maybe it's something, you know, flowery and pretty. Whatever resonates with you, you know, grab that. Grab a, grab a good pen and allow yourself the time every day to sit and write in that journal. To write whatever you feel. Whether you want to lift yourself up or vent stuff out, do it. But journaling is incredibly therapeutic, incredibly healing, and that is part of releasing some of those blocks and some of that junk that we hold in ourselves. If you give yourself an outlet and a way to get that down on paper, like I said, whether that's venting stuff out emotionally or whether that's giving yourself a pep talk and talking yourself back up to where you need to be in that journaling entry, or for that matter, like I said, I a lot of times will write, it's almost a prayer. It's almost a, a conversation with God that I'm having about things and where things are at and I don't understand why this happened or I'm frustrated with this, God help me with this. So do what feels right to you, but journaling is just something really simple you can do every day that's really helpful, healing and amazing self-care. So I hope that helps you today. Have a great one guys, we'll talk again soon.